one of a series of tests which were conducted to prove Herbert Scheffel's um, bogey design and generally the high-speed service which of course was all a preamble to the or culminating in the Metroblitz service and here we see uh, Scheffel's prototype passenger um, high-speed or self-steering bogey on which a standard suburban trailer was mounted and those vanes on the back of the of the vehicle are actually used for braking after the uh, high-speed section has been completed. Here we have a couple of chaps who were on the footplate. fastest train driver in South Africa, a locomotive inspector who did the high-speed tests. Six E1s haul the high-speed train back to its starting point. Now listen to the speed being recorded. Now let us look at the revenue earning Metroblitz service which operated for something like 12 months between Pretoria and Johannesburg. The service only lasted for the 12 odd months because it was doomed really from the start in the sense that it was like putting a hare amongst a lot of tortoises. The Metro Blitz, um, her schedule was such that so many trains and especially other commuter trains had to make way for her that um, it led to a lot of complaints from the travelling public, those who were travelling in the other trains. And if you didn't make way for her, well then obviously you were defeating the object. Let us set off now ourselves from Pretoria to Johannesburg on a return trip and see what Metroblitz is all, up, all about. The train actually rode extremely well and very, very uh, comfortably. In fact, um, from my own experiences overseas, this train came extremely close, virtually matching the riding qualities of many of the high-speed trains um, that I rode on in, uh, in the UK and uh, on the continent.
160 kilometers an hour was uh, virtually standard in the Birchley area. The train flashing through the station um, on every trip and being given the clear road that I spoke of, uh, there was very seldom an occasion when she didn't come tearing through this particular spot. It's a great pity that the train was not used more intensively during its uh, 12 months of service. It was scheduled for one um, trip each way or one return trip from Pretoria on weekdays and it did a couple of trips on uh, Saturdays. Not very often uh, that trains, passenger trains, don't stop at Germiston, but in fact this was the case with the Metroblitz. It was strictly uh, Pretoria, Johannesburg, Johannesburg, Pretoria, non-stop in each, in each direction. As you will have heard, this train uh, also boasted a public address system, something which I think was uh, well overdue on South African trains. The uh, guard was able to keep passengers informed of the of the train speed and so on, and uh, could make any other announcements that might uh, be necessary. to be on a South African train while it's making mincemeat of the cars along the road uh, alongside the track.
here is a typical example of um, other trains having to get out of the path of the Metro Blitz. Uh, here at uh, Carlfontein, this chap was being diverted to make way for the for the Greyhound. Yellow lines were uh, painted on the platforms of the of all the stations on the route to keep uh, passengers, waiting passengers, well clear of the of the edge of the platform as this express tore through. People in South Africa are not used to trains travelling at, the, at these kind of speeds. Here is another problem in South Africa. Look at all those empty seats. There are a few passengers on board, but no real support. Uh, South Africans are just not public transport or, um, orientated. This curve here at um, Olifonsontein was the one um, inhibiting factor in the Metro Blitz's uh, speed. Uh, section. She had to really come down here to to normal uh, speeds for this particular the, for this particular curve. As for the rest of the road from Germiston to uh, Pretoria, it was pretty well high speed all the way. The Metro Blitz is no more. The um, locomotives, the Class 12Es, all five of them, um, they've been modified and repainted in blue train colours. It is the intention that they should uh, become regular blue train locomotives, releasing the 6E1s for general service. The coaches are, for the present time, being stored. Where one of them is uh, earmarked for the museum. It's ironic that over the years the Pretoria-Johannesburg railway set line has witnessed so many fine express passenger trains, but um, today if you wish to do this journey it's definitely Allerstasis Behalve Fontaine. One gratifying thought however is that um, we have the, uh, the technology, the proven technology, thanks to Dr. Herbert Scheffel, and that's his building over there, um, to travel at high speeds and run or run high-speed trains when circumstances will 
uh, permit. Let's hope those days are not too far away.